Hi, this is Tony Franklin here. Really excited about my new Groove sample library. All recorded on this fretless precision bass. This Fender P bass goes back with me way back to the firm days. Yes, I recorded Radioactive on this bass. <laughs> People are often surprised at the amount of overdrive I have on my tone, but when you're playing the hard rock bands like The Firm, Blue Murder, Whitesnake, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, all sorts of things I've been very fortunate to be part of, you need that drive, you need that overdrive for the fretless to cut through. And on the samples, on the library, you have the DI tracks as well. So you've got both. You've got my real, full, rich, driven tone, but you've also got the, uh, the DI. So uh, we went about to create a real deep library because as well as all these bands I've played with, I've done numerous sessions. And so I know what it takes to create different variations if the producer is looking for a different thing or a different sound tonally, different uh, ways that you ap approach and attack the instrument, all of these little subtle variations. And these are all captured on the library. It goes pretty deep because with each, each groove, I set up a drum loop. And I would play that so I wasn't just playing to a click so it would be kind of you know boring and and just uh, static. It really, it really moves. And then there are probably ten sections. You got, of course, your standard intro. You've got the the A section and B section, C section, and two or three or more variations on each of those sections. But then I go off onto a jam section. There'll be a vamp, and then whatever other craziness I want to put in there. It goes, starts off pretty straight but then goes way outside. I like to have a lot of a lot of depth so you can really get my personality. But at the same time, I'm a, a very much of a believer of songs. I love that songs um, and the bass plays a role in that. And the, what is that role? That it holds down the low end and maintains the groove. If you're not doing that, you're not doing your job. So we get uh, pretty deep here. And don't think that the fretless bass doesn't rock, because it does. Oh, I love the fretless. And I don't use it as a novelty. People think, oh, the fretless bass, well, it's wonderful, you can slide. I don't like to do too much of that. There's a place for it, but I think of the, the fretless bass like the human voice, which does not have frets on it. It doesn't have those steps and degrees. It's very fluid, and so the, the fretless is like that. You can do little subtle inflections. <laughs> I put some sliding stuff in there. You cannot have a fretless bass library without all the good stuff. If you're looking for that perfect line for your existing composition, if you're looking for inspiration to take you to another place, this library has it all. It has my personality, but it has very usable tracks on there and it runs deep. So I think you'll find something for whatever you need and looking for. Let's have a look at some of the tracks here, shall we? Nice little swing shuffle. Love this. So one little trick that we often use in the studio is, uh, which goes back to the original Fender basses when they had the mute cover. The cover and the mutes were inside. So you use the foam, it gives that real nice dark, deadened sound. It's great to play with. 